I'd like to welcome everyone to the 2020 Robertson County graduation. Robertson County Board of Education members, Dr. John Burns, Chairman, Marsha Jones, Vice Chairman, Wendell Hagg, Kevin Dotson, Darlene Gifford, and I would like to congratulate the Robertson County Class of 2020. As the Superintendent of the Robertson County School District, I'm extremely proud of you and your accomplishments. I would also like to extend a sincere thank you to all our amazing parents, guardians, grandparents, extended family members, and friends who have united together the past two days to pay tribute in honoring these extraordinary young men and women that have graduated. Thank you as well for the support you have shown to the Robertson County School District. These students are richly blessed to have so much love and support for their achievements in earning their high school diploma. On behalf of the Robertson County School District, I offer a sincere thank you to you, the parents, for entrusting us to be part of educating the most important part of your world, your child. It has been an honor and privilege to have these students in the Robertson County School System. As superintendent, I cannot leave out another very important group, our teachers and staff members. You've had a vital role in educating and preparing these young men and women for tomorrow. Your hard work and determination is greatly appreciated. Even in unprecedented times, you went way above and beyond the call of duty for your RCS kids. This learning will serve as a foundation for many great accomplishments that these graduates will achieve. To each Robertson County School employee, thank you for the impact you made in the lives of these graduates. Graduation is a time of celebration, but with this also comes the emotion of sadness and uncertainty. In one respect, this time of graduation is bittersweet and that we will miss this splendid group of students that have been such an important part of the Robertson County School District for the last 12 years. Then on the other hand, we are extremely proud of your achievements and are anxiously waiting to see the great opportunities that are ahead for each of you. I know the way the school ended was not what we planned for you, but we have learned one thing is the past cannot be changed, but the future is yet in your power to determine. Go out and make us proud. Thank you. At this time, it's my distinct honor to introduce to you the 2020 Roberts County Salutatorian, Wyatt Allen Cooper. Wyatt will now give his speech. Friends, family, students, and staff, I know we cannot all be gathered here today to celebrate the memories and the achievements of the class of 2020 but that does not make them any less notable. Memories such as Bailey breaking all Mr. Turner's beakers, all the times we push, pushed Coach Bain to the edge while fighting over dodgeball, or the races between Sam and Mr. Massey that never got to finish because of a cheating scandal. We've come so far since starting this journey back at the old Deming School, where just five or six years old, we waddled into that, that building and met our extended family for the next 13 years of our life. And naturally, we've grown and changed, but we've only grown closer together. This is a class that I know will always find a way to succeed and will always persevere, despite whatever trials and tribulations life may throw our way. Even on our graduation day, we are experiencing hardship, but it is just another uh, challenge that we must overcome. And I know that we will all look back on this later, stronger than we ever imagined possible. This is not the end for our class. Rather, it is just the first chapter in an amazing story. It's most certainly been a wild ride and one that I wouldn't change for anything. There will always be something special here in this county and in this school where everyone knows your name and you truly do have one big family that you can rely on. I want to thank everyone for supporting in me supporting me and believing in me over all these, these past years and for all the opportunities that this school has given me that I wouldn't have gotten anywhere else. 
And finally, class of 2020, we're no stranger to extraordinary times. We came into this world in the wake of the catastrophic events of 9-11, and now we're graduating during a worldwide pandemic. These are some unprecedented times. Now let's go do some unprecedented things. At this time, it's my distinct honor to introduce to you the valedictorian of the Robertson County Class of 2020, Joseph B. Lawrence Burns. He will now give his speech. All right. Is this thing on? Yes, sir. Okay. Dear graduates of the RC class of 2020, I am looking forward to the next chapter of our lives, and I am excited about what lies ahead of us. For all of those that have been with me for the past 12 years, it seems it was just yesterday when we started kindergarten. It was our first steps into the world of learning and achievement. We were students of Miss Karen and Miss Rhonda. We always had fun together, and although some of us got into trouble, in the end, we all graduated from kindergarten. It was not only our first steps towards achievement, but our final steps towards preparation for grade school. 12 years later, we are repeating the same process but this time we are graduating high school. Although these are our final steps in high school, we will be taking our first steps towards going away to college, to the military, or to a new job. It is one of the biggest accomplishments that we will have for the rest of our lives. Now that we have graduated, we can begin our lives as adults. I know there were times we all thought school was nonsense. I know there were times we thought school sucked, but that didn't stop us from trying. We kicked butt for 12 years after kindergarten, and look at where we are now. We didn't do this alone. We had support from our peers, parents, and teachers. We never stopped I mean, they never stopped encouraging us and never will. Even when we graduate and begin a new journey in life, we can always depend on them for support in the future. We are not just classmates. We are friends. We are a family. We are RCS. This is a legacy that not only we will look back at, but those that graduate after us as well. Someday, a future graduate will pick up a 2020 year book and will ask, who were those dudes and dudettes that graduated in 2020? And one of our teachers will say, that's some of the best kids that ever walked these halls. They were not just students, but most importantly, family. My name is Joseph Burns, and I would like to say good luck, seniors. Thank you. Haley Nicole Harding. Honors include a dual credit certificate for earning 44 credit hours and the Mount Olivet Mason Scholarship for
Haley, you may turn your tassel. Congratulations. Jonathan Taylor Hostetler. Honors include National Institute for Automotive Service Excellence in Automobile Maintenance and Light Repair. <laughs> JT, you may turn your tassel. Congratulations. Haley LaVon Hutchinson. Honors include Industry Certification Animal Science, Dual Credit Certificate for earning 25 credit hours, Hester Scholarship will receive $1,500 a year for two years, the Ad Hoc Scholarship she will receive $2,000 a year for two years, the Moorhead State University Dean Scholar Award $2,500 a year for four years, and the Tolesboro Lions Club Scholarship for $200. Haley LaVon Hutchinson. Haley, you may turn your tassel. Congratulations. <laughs> Garrett Andrew McLeod. Honors include Industry Certification of Animal Science, Certificate of Achievement on OSHA 10 exam, Dual Credit Certificate for earning 29 credit hours, the Hester Scholarship for $1,500, the Ad Hoc Scholarship for $1,000, the Robertson County Women's Club Scholarship, $500, and the four-year math award, Garrett Andrew McLeod. <laughs> Garrett, you may turn your tassel. Congratulations. <laughs> Ethan Thomas Allen. Honors include Industry Certification of Animal Science and Dual Credit Certificate for earning three credit hours. Ethan Thomas Allen. Ethan, you may turn your tassel. Congratulations. Cameron Bree Kendall. Honors include COSA, Consumer and Family Management, Certificate of Achievement in State Nursing Aid Testing, Dual Credit Certificate for Earning Nine Credit Hours. She will receive the Hester Scholarship, $1,000 a year for two years, and the Ad Hoc Scholarship, $1,000 a year for three years. Cameron Bree Kendall.
Cameron, you may turn your tassel. Congratulations. Bryce Dillon Doyle. He receives a certificate of achievement on the OSHA 10 exam and dual credit certificate for earning nine credit hours. Bryce Dillon Doyle. <laughs> Bryce, you may turn your tassel. Congratulations. Kelly Jo Hendricks. Her accomplishments include industry certification animal science, COSA animal science, COSA horticulture, dual credit certificate for earning 33 credit hours, the Hester scholarship, she will receive 2,000 a year for two years, the ad hoc scholarship, she will receive $1,000 a year for three years, the Kentucky Farm Bureau Sam Moore Scholarship, $4,000. The Moorhead State University Dean Scholar Award, $2,500 a year for four years. She was also the four-year Social Studies Awards winner. And she was voted by the faculty the Senior Female Citizenship Award. Ms. Kelly Jo Hendricks. Kelly, you may turn your tassel. Congratulations. <laughs> Kevin Andrew McDowell, his accomplishment, COSA Consumer and Family Management Certification. Kevin Andrew McDowell. Kevin, you may turn your tassel. Congratulations. Kaylee Lane Evans. Accomplishments include COSA Consumer and Family Management Certification, Certificate of Achievement in State Nurses Aid Testing, Dual Credit Certificate for Earning Six Credit Hours. She will receive $1,000 a year for three years from the Hester Scholarship. She will receive $500 a year for two years from the Ad Hoc Scholarship and she will receive $4,800 per year for four years from the MSU Residence Hall Leadership Award. Kaylee Lane Evans. Kaylee, you may turn your tassel. Congratulations. 
Bailey Shane Tully, accomplishment, National Institute for Automotive Service Excellence in Automobile Maintenance and Light Repair. Bailey Shane Tully. Bailey, you may turn your tassel. Congratulations. <laughs> I'll get it. <laughs> Molly Lorne Hester. Her awards include Industry Certificate Animal Science, Dual Credit Certificate for earning 36 credit hours, the Hester Scholarship, she will receive $2,000 a year for two years. The Ad Hoc Scholarship, she will receive $2,000 a year for three years. The Bradley and Debbie Gifford Memorial Scholarship, $500. The Woman of the World Scholarship, $300. The Terry and Leota Massey Memorial Scholarship, $250. Molly Lauren Hester. Molly, you may turn your tassel. Congratulations. <laughs> Ross Melvin Becker. His awards include Certificate of Achievement on OSHA 10 exam, dual credit certificate for earning nine credit hours, he will receive $1,500 from the Hester Scholarship and $1,000 from the Ad Hoc Scholarship. Ross Melvin Becker. Hang right there. Hey, Ralph Stairs. Ralph, you may now turn your tassel. Congratulations. Jonathan Levi McConnell is awarded a dual credit certificate for earning six credit hours. Jonathan Levi McConnell. Jonathan, you may turn your tassel. Congratulations. <laughs> Wyatt Allen Cooper. His awards include COSA Ag Power Structure Tech System Certificate, COSA Horticulture Certificate, a dual credit certificate for earning 34 credit hours. He will receive $3,500 a year for three years from the Hester Scholarship, $2,500 a year for three years from the Ad Hoc Scholarship. He will receive $500 from the Bradley and Debbie Gifford Memorial Scholarship. He will receive $250 from the Kentucky Blood Center Scholarship. He will receive $250 from the Terry and Leota Massey Memorial Scholarship. He is the recipient of the four-year English award. 
and he will also receive from the Commonwealth Scholar Award from Moorhead State University $8,000 per year for four years. Wyatt Allen Cooper. Wyatt, at this time you may turn your tassel. Congratulations. Joseph B. Lawrence Burns. His awards include Industry Certification in Animal Science, Dual Credit Certificate for Earning 40 Credit Hours. He will receive $4,000 a year for three years from the Hester Scholarship, $3,000 a year for three years from the Ad Hoc Scholarship. He will receive $2,500 a year for four years from the Moorhead State University Dean Scholar Award, and he will receive $4,800 per year for four years from the Residence Hall Leadership Award at Moorhead State University. Joseph B. Lawrence Burns. Joseph, at this time, you may turn your tassel. Congratulations. Robertson, Robertson County Senior Graduate, Alex Williams. Turn your tassel. There you go. Trevor Allen Ham. <laughs> Trevor, you may turn your tassel. Congratulations. <laughs> Joseph Lee Baker. Accomplishments, accomplishments include dual credit certificate for earning six credit hours. He will receive $2,000 a year for two years from the Hester Scholarship. He will receive $1,000 a year for three years from the Ad Hoc Scholarship. He will receive $5,000 a year for four years from the Moorhead State University of Kentucky Scholars Award. And he also earns the Four-Year Science Award. 
Joseph Lee Baker. Congratulations. Joseph, you may turn your tassel. Congratulations. Carson Wayne Case. Awards include COSA Ag Power Structure Tech Systems Certificate, COSA Horticulture Certificate, and dual credit certificate for earning six credit hours. Carson Wayne Case. Carson, you may turn your tassel. Congratulations. Today is a first in Robertson County history. This is the first time that we've ever presented a diploma to a student who is on another continent. This year we had the honor of having Christina Castelletti from Italy come here as an exchange student. Uh, she touched the hearts of everybody here. Everybody truly loved her. Unfortunately, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, Christina had to leave early and she didn't get to be here in person for the graduation ceremony. So now her host parents, Jim and Dina Rosenthal, will accept on behalf of Christina Castelletti her diploma. Christina Castelletti. David Unthank. His awards include Industry Certification in Animal Science, Co uh, COSA Animal Science Certification, COSA Horticulture Certification, Dual Credit Certificate for earning 33 credit hours. He will receive $2,000 a year for two years from the Hester Scholarship, $2,000 a year for three years from the Ad Hoc Scholarship, he will receive the Kentucky Farm Bureau Federation Scholarship of $1,000, the Robertson County Farm Bureau Scholarship for $500, and the Moorhead State University Kentucky Scholars Award will be $5,000 for four years. The faculty and staff of Robertson County select a service award. Andrew won the Male Service Award, and he also won the Male Citizenship Award. Andrew David Unthank. Andrew, you may turn your tassel. Congratulations.
Kayla Joanne Bateman. Her awards include COSA Consumer and Family Management Certification, Dual Credit Certificate for earning 40 credit hours. She will receive $1,500 a year for two years from the Hester Scholarship and $2,000 a year for two years from the Ad Hoc Scholarship. And she is also being awarded the Moorhead State University Residence Hall Leadership Award in the amount of $4,800 per year for four years. Kayla Joanne Bateman. Kayla, you may turn your tassel. Congratulations. <laughs> Carolina Herrera. Carolina, you may turn your tassel. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Elena Marie Craig, her awards include industry certification in animal science, dual credit certificate for earning nine credit hours. She will receive $3,000 a year for three years from the Hester Scholarship, $1,000 a year for three years from the Ad Hoc Scholarship. She will receive $500 from the Phyllis Insco Memorial Scholarship and voted on by faculty and staff. She was awarded the Senior Female Service Award winner. <laughs> Elena Marie Craig. Elena, you may now turn your tassel. Congratulations. Neil Joseph Coy. Awards include National Institute for Automotive Service Excellence in Automobile Maintenance and Light Repair. And he was also named Mason County Career Magnet School Student of the Year, Neil Joseph Coy. Neil, you may turn your tassel. 
Congratulations. Travis Alexander Holder. Travis, you may turn your tassel. Congratulations. Samuel Wayne Buckler. His award, awards include certification of COSA Administrative Support, and he received dual credit certification for earning 40 credit hours. Samuel Wayne Buckler. Samuel, you may turn your tassel. Congratulations. Miguel Delgado Torres. His awards include dual credit certificate for earning nine credit hours, he will receive $1,000 a year for two years from the Hester Scholarship, $500 a year for two years from the Ad Hoc Scholarship, and $500 from the Robertson County Homemakers. Miguel Delgado Torres. Miguel, you may turn your tassel. Congratulations. <laughs> Carolyn May Highlander. Her award includes a certificate from COSA Consumer and Family Management. Carolyn May Highlander. Carolyn, you may turn your tassel. Congratulations. <laughs> Emma Noel Moore. Awards include dual credit certificate for earning eight credit hours. She will receive $1,000 from the Hester Scholarship and $500 from the Ad Hoc Scholarship. Emma Noel Moore. Emma, you may turn your tassel. Congratulations. <laughs> Avery Claire Roberts. Her awards include 
industry certification in animal science, COSA certification in horticulture, dual credit certificate for earning 50 credit hours. She will receive $1,500 a year for two years from the Hester Scholarship and $2,000 a year for two years from the Ad Hoc Scholarship. Avery Claire Roberts. Avery, you may now turn your tassel. Congratulations. I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate the RCS class of 2020. I remember in the fall of 2014, you all walked into my room as sixth graders. You all were full of energy and always wanted to know more. I always challenged you and you responded. One of the greatest achievements I had with you all is at the, your all's time in eighth grade, you all scored the highest on eighth grade K prep scores. You all came into this world after 9-11. The world had changed. Now you've been faced with COVID-19 pandemic and the world has changed even more. Who would have thought that March the 12th would have been your final day of high school? You missed out on many last. Your last day of school, prom, and many things. But just like I challenged you on the K prep scores when you're in eighth grade, you will face these challenges head on, and I have no doubt that you will succeed. It has been my pleasure to serve you as a teacher and for the past two years as your principal. RCS class of 2020, you have a special place in my heart. Once again, I congratulate you and good luck in whatever you may strive to do. Thank you. The class of 2020, you have met all requirements set forth by the Robertson County Board of Education and the Kentucky Board of Elementary and Secondary Education. And by the power vested in me, I pronounce you 2020 graduates of Robertson County High School. It is my pleasure to congratulate you on becoming the newest members of the Deming RCS alumni family. Best wishes, full of happiness, and many blessings. Congratulations.